Hello everybody, this is Mad Panda Games here, and today we're going tackling episode 2 of Angels of Death. And I am so excited, the first episode was so good, and let's get started guys. Let's do this. So we're now we're on another floor. Yes, I know how to... I know how to do the controls. Okay, come on, let's do this. I'm assuming that says Angels of Death. Yep, episode 2. I can hear the elevator. Come on. Let's see who the next killer is. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Floor B3. So we only got three floors left. Cool. This is where we get off, apparently. Cool. Yes, I know who you are. Hi, Ray. And then hi, Zach. B3. <sighs> Isaac Foster, which is Zack. Okay, what a stingy elevator. Just take us all the way up instead of dropping us off at each fucking floor. Well, that's kind of the point. Here we go again, another elevator hunt. Yeah. Hey, I'm counting on you. You're the brains of this operation. Make sure we get to the exit. She'll do it. Okay, I'll do everything in my power to make myself useful to you, so that way you'll kill her. Just like you swore to God, once we escape this place, kill me. You sound like a broken record player. Don't gotta tell me again. Okay. It looks like it's locked. Yeah, there it is. It's locked. Um, what do we do then? Can I move? Hmm. The elevator isn't functioning. Can I do anything? Wait, why why can't I? Hold on, so okay, there it is. Some for some reason I couldn't move to the side. The door is locked. Okay. What? What? I said what? Unbutton your lips. Even if I told you, I'm not sure you would understand. Huh? Who knows, but I won't unless you spit it out. Okay then. It's not unlocked. There's nothing else in this room, so it doesn't bode well for us. Yeah oh If you don't have a clue, then why in the hell would I? I thought you'd say that. Aren't you skilled at unlocking stuff? Good luck with that. Okay, then. For the time being, I'll take another look at the door. Cool. It's locked. Door's locked! I had a feeling it wouldn't open. What are we gonna do? Door's locked. It's still locked. Is there something in my handbag? But this is... What? What is it? A. Hey, it still won't budge? Nope. You've been eyeballing your bag for a while. What's that about? I thought there'd be something to unlock it. Oh, so what's inside that bag of yours anyways? Yeah, what is inside? Um, thread, a needle, and... You don't say. Can you pick a lock with the needle? Can we? Oh. I have no idea how to pick locks. Besides, the store has no keyhole. Well, a lot of good some thread and a needle is gonna do us then, huh? Out of my way, I'll smash it open. This door is reinforced with iron bars. Can it? I won't know unless I try, damn it. Well, that didn't work. Ah! Shit! It's hard as a rock. Hard as iron, to be precise. Oh, don't, don't show lip right now. Why didn't you tell me that? Now my hands are all numb. We did tell you that. I mentioned iron bars. Huh? What the fuck? Um, oh no. Hey, get back. What the hell? Did we already lose? Are we dead? We're dead, aren't we? Bullets. Plan to turn us into Swiss cheese, eh? 
Well, at least you're not dead. <laughs> yeah oh Sorry the welcome party took so long. I guess I sort of dozed off watching your idiotic antics. Still, it's a wonder you survived. <laughs> Creepy laugh. Especially you, Zack. Bravo to your resourcefulness. Truth be told, I've always had faith that you'd blossom into such a lovely sinner. All this talk about anticipation has my sleepy peepers wide awake now. Great, so the first time we had a killer obsessed with Rachel, now we have a killer obsessed with Zack. This cannot, uh, bode well for us. I don't give a flying fuck about your sleeping habits. Shut the hell up and let us through. Stop laughing, you creep. Very well, you've earned it. Yep, you've earned it. What? Are we on a game show? I am the Condemner. Oh, godless wretches. You shall writhe in agony until forgiven. Is it right? You shall writhe in agony until forgiven. For that is my dead war. Yeah, we're definitely on a game show. Stop laughing! Gosh, this lady's creepy. Godless wretches? Bullshit. Saying whatever the hell she wants. Talking like God sent her himself and shit. Why do I gotta be punished anyway? Oh, my bullshit o meter is already pinging off scale, so lay off. Okay then. Hey, Ray, this door is open. Let's get a move on. Okay. Well, I guess we're out there. I'm gonna say first, because I don't trust this lady. This lady sounds insane. Okay. Let's see. Red carpets. Let's see. Door is locked. Okay. The door is locked. The door is locked. Is every door locked? The gate is closed. It's closed. Hey, aren't you listening? Weren't you supposed to let us through? What's this? I thought you were slow-witted, but it turns out you're just impatient, eh? I haven't finished putting on my face. I just rolled out of bed after all. Huh? Well, never mind all that. Sinners should receive their punishment in due order, don't you think? I mean, that way it sets the mood for the whole thing, don't you think? Ugh, don't you think? Oh my gosh. I'd better get everything set up. You two should get ready too. To receive your punishment, that is. I left the room in question unlocked for you. Okay, which one's unlocked? Which means... Huh? What's all that supposed to mean? Shall we head to the room for the time being? Okay, which one? Is this locked? Yep, that one's locked. Okay, that one gate is closed. That, okay, here we go. A bordered background mugshot is what defines a criminal, right? So, take your mugshot for me. Huh? Mugshot? It's a picture of your mug, Isaac. Never had yours taken before, huh? How lovely. I'll make a half... Half? I'll make a half-hearted promise to post it on my fridge. Indeed. The same goes for you as well, Rachel. Show me your photogenic side. Oh, and don't forget to take it while holding a placard. Cool. Cool, I guess. Ugh. This is such bullshit. Yeah. Okay. What's here? What are these things? The box contains white boards that each have a white string attached. Names are written on the boards. They appear to be mugshot playcards. Hey, what do those say? Our names are written on them. Really? Our names? Well, it's for a mugshot. So, I think we need to put these around our necks and take the photo. Acquired placards. Okay, what's right next to this? Photos of several people are scattered everywhere. The people in the photographs are each holding what appears to be a mugshot placard. Well, those must be the people who died before us. Okay. There's a camera. Are we supposed to take it with this? Does pushing the shutter take a photo? Fuck if I know. I've never taken a photo or had mine taken. Okay, then should I take mine first? 
Huh? So, why in the fuck do I gotta get my photo taken for? So we can keep going. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. Not a fan of photos? Well, your face is all bandaged up, so... Ah, shit. Fine. Okay, then. I'll take yours once you're ready, okay? Is he ready? Yeah, there's a camera, I know. Shall I take yours? Fine. Okay. <laughs> He's not happy. Hey, if you're gonna do it, then make it snappy. Stay still. Huh? Like I give a shit. Just take it for crying out loud. It'll come out blurry. For fuck's sake, it's not like this is some passport photo. Fine, hold still. Okay, well, there's your picture. Do I press this? Yeah. This sucks so hard. What do we gotta do this for? Uh, don't push the button too hard. It'll make the camera shake. Uh, I think he did exactly the opposite of what we asked. Okay. I knew it. It's blurry. Good enough. Yeah, I think I heard a sound over there. Now we should be able to move on. And now, let's save, because this lady sounds insane. So I don't trust a single thing she says. Okay, okay, the, the uh, gate's open now. Okay, what is this? Um, A series of drawings are scribbled on the wall. Bleh, what a piss poor excuse of a drawing. It's like someone smeared shit on the wall. Okay. It appears to be a picture of someone sitting in a chair. I feel as if these are important. It appears to be a picture of some sort of green scribble in an agonizing face. I think that's poison, to be honest. Okay. It appears to be a picture of someone impaled on spikes. Well, that's not good. And then, it appears to be a picture of a syringe. Yeah, this cannot be good. And then, it appears to be a picture of a smiling woman, who I think is the killer. Okay, then. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Did you by chance catch the wall artwork? I've got such wonderful punishments in store for both of you. Isn't that lovely? No, thank you. With drawing skills like that, the only thing lovely will be when they're erased. How cruel. I put my heart and soul into them. But enough about that. More importantly, I'm giving each of you a bit of a choice. Uh-oh, I don't like that. Huh? What do you mean? Didn't you know that condemnation comes in a variety of forms? Stop laughing! How does eternal imprisonment strike you? There, you can leisurely spend your days, productively thinking over your sins. No thanks. Feels as if I get bored really fast. Such tormenting punishment awaits you above. However, beyond the iron bars before you awaits a lovely new life, rotting away in eternal imprisonment. No thanks. No thanks, stop laughing. So, what do you say? Who the fuck in the right head would want to do something like that? Too bad, all I wanted was to keep you for the rest of your lives. The offer still stands if you change your mind. Stop laughing. Gosh, this lady's creepy. What? You think I'm just gonna sign my life over like some dumbass? Eternal imprisonment? Death would not be swift, I take it. No, it would not. Hey, don't even give this bitch the time of day. Act like she doesn't exist. Let's keep going. Okay. Again. Let us save. Everything that happens with this lady just really gets me uncomfortable. Is this the first punishment room? Even if it is, we've got no choice but to keep going. Okay, so sitting in a chair. Oh, and it's locked. The door's been locked. Huh? Does everyone around here got some sort of sick door locking fetish or something? Come on! You know, that would actually be really hilarious if they did. Yeah-oh. Yeah-oh. That looks terrifying. 
There's so many chairs. What's sitting in the chairs? People? Dolls? In that chair in the center. Huh? Yet another place that makes no freaking sense. Ah. Wait. Rachel, you might want to put some more emotion in your voice. I don't trust this. Wait, nope. Let us save. I don't trust this. So they're all dolls, huh? So it seems. At any rate, get thinking about how to get through here. Okay. Just to be safe, you should take a look around too. Will do. I'm gonna see what this is. There's a chair strapped with cords and a restraining device. Something smells like it's burning. Yo, uh oh That does not bode well. There's nothing inside. Rags and cleaning things are strewn about. Acquired rag. Cool, rag. Yippee. There's nothing inside. Whoa, too, went, too, went too far. There's nothing inside. Okay. Find anything worth mentioning? There's a door on the other side, but a wall is blocking the way. Question mark? And you didn't smash it because? Huh? Listen, punk. This wall is made of iron. I can't smash it. Oh. Well, okay then. Aren't you the one who said that iron can't be destroyed? Yes, we did say that. Yes, we did. Well, okay then. Hmm. It appears to be some sort of machine, but it isn't functioning. Hmm. Yep, still not functioning. There's a chair, or restraining device. Yep, something smells like it's burning. And I know this door is locked. Can is there anything right here? Nope. The doll is sitting so it faces the chair in the center of the room. Yep, okay. Are all of them, are all of them this? Okay, we did something. This room looks like it might be hiding something, but everything seems to be fixated with no sign of budging. All the dolls appear motionless too. Maybe I'll let Zack know. He's not gonna be happy. He'll get over it though. Uh, no, this ain't not good. You find something? Uh, um, did you even look? Er, um, well, he's not angry. Yeah, he is angry. <laughs> so no clue about a way out, huh? Yeah, about that. He's angry. Damn. Okay, then. I think I shall save again before I talk to him. Cause something tells me that he's gonna do something stupid. Hey, are you sure there's nothing? Not sure. But what I do know is that I've yet to find any kind of clue. Quit messing with me. If there's nothing here, then how's about I start smashing everything? Wouldn't that be faster? There's no evidence suggesting so. But please do. We might find something. Huh? No evidence? There's no evidence to say I can't smash. Mind holding that thought for a bit? Oh man, I'm pissed. No way forward and no way back. Man, this shit is so fucking tiring. Uh, you s yeah, you sat in the chair with the restraining. Hey, I wouldn't sit in that chair if I were you. Huh? Put a sock in it. I'm so out of it. Uh, yeah, oh. Should I talk to you? I'd get out of that chair if I were you. What's the big deal? You couldn't find anything around here, right? But that chair. Huh? What about this chair? It's probably for execution. An electric chair. Get the hell out of that chair. Oh, nope, and bad things are happening now. Ah. Ah, what the fuck? Gray, don't just stand there. Do something. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, yeah oh Yeah oh Yeah oh Yeah oh Okay, here's some new killer. Greetings. My apologies, I can't be there in person. I condemn the guilty on this floor. Don't forget it. I'll be the last thing you ever see. No, oh, 4B3 Kathy. Okay, Kathy. 
Well, my sinful duo, are you enjoying yourselves? Oh, goodness. Zack sat in that chair, eh? Shit. Hey, you bitch, get me out of this thing. Uh-oh. Surely you jest. I'm afraid that just won't happen. What kind of executioner sets their convicts free? Zack, my boy. I get giddy at the thought of seeing how well a monster like you can withstand my punishment. Whoa. Oh, hell no. Um. Is he dead? Oh god, he's dead, isn't he? Why, Zack? What could be the matter? Is he dead? Okay, he's not dead. It hurts, you bitch! Okay, he's not dead. He's just very angry. Stop laughing! Stop laughing! Incredible! Your life force is so strong! A wonderful murdering monster! Oh, you're the perfect specimen of a sinner! Shut the fuck up! Get this thing off me so I can wipe that fucked up smile off your face! Ah! Oh my gosh, she is not happy. Well, I'll leave the electric chair on so that lots of lovely boats continue to course through your body. In the meantime, Rachel Gardner can find a way to deactivate it. If you're lucky, then who knows? I might even let you both through here. That's not good. Stop it. He won't survive. Oh, well hello my child. Does it not captivate you to learn how much of a tenacious monster of a sinner that Zack is? Besides, do you think a sinner has any say in this? Uh-oh. Well then, let the punishment begin. Ladies and gentlemen. Um. Relish the despicable sinner's writhing in agony. Hey, Ray. You know what you gotta do, right? You gotta do this or you won't be holding up your end of the bargain. Don't screw up. Prove your usefulness to me. But... Let me murder this sadistic crazy bitch! Yo, uh oh you know it's bad they're saving it before. Okay. Okay, I'll do what I can. The loathing gaze of the audience upon the sinner. That gaze is the virtue of the sinner's demise. Here, the eyes of the spectators exact the punishment. Oh, we have to... I think we have to rip off their eyes. All right, now let the fun begin. Yeah. Uh oh. Eyes of the spectators. Does that mean these dolls are the spectators? Hmm. What to do? Yeah. Uh oh. The doll is sitting so it faces the chair in the center of the room. Um. Inventory. Inventory. Rag. This rag's filthy. It's not even fit for cleaning. Yeah, faces. Yeah. How do I, what do I do? Ah, hurry up! I will. I need to check all the dolls first. Gosh. The doll sits silently without stirring. It appears as if it's hanging its head. This doll isn't moving. Plus, it's hanging its head. Does it not want to face forward? Turn it backward. Let's see what happens. Did I, did I fix it? Oh wait, there's another one. Right here. Hurry your ass up! I'll do my best. Okay, this one's not moving either. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Turn it backward. This, there. Here it is. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. I know. Turn it backwards. And then what? Is the current weakening? I'll check it out. Hmm. All of these. Ugh, hot! Ow! Hang in there. She says this with no, like, emotion. I feel like the electrical current has slightly weakened. Zach, how is it? How's it what? Still got a ways to go. Maybe I need to have more dolls with the way. 
Okay. But they're all moving. These are all moving. Yeah, spirit, it doesn't appear to be movable. You know how very what hap very well what happens if I die, don't you? If you die, then it's hopeless for me. I can't let that happen. All these are moving. Okay, securely fastened. Yep. Oh, turn backward. Yeah, turn his head backwards. Wait, these ones are moving oddly. Yeah. Ah! I'll kill you! Kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you! Kill who? Shut up! Don't answer me! Now hurry up and save me! Okay. This one's not... This one's weird. Yeah. Okay, turn his head backwards. All of these... No, one of them seems to be moving... Ah! This one seems a little bit weird. Nope. Okay, this one. Okay, turn it backwards. This one also appears to be moving oddly. Yep. Turn this one backwards. Is it working better? I knew it. The electric current is weakening. But how do I make the rest of the dolls look away from the electric chair? If I can just get the doll's head to move. Come to think of it, doesn't Zack have a scythe? Shit! Um, I wanna hurry up. What? What was it, Zack? You can be as loud as you want. Talk to me if you're still alive. Man, you're selfish! Don't you know I'm dying over here? Glad to know you're okay. Okay then. Let's see if I can have his scythe. Is it any better, Zack? Ugh! Ah! Ah! Are you fucking with me? Hey, can you throw your scythe to me? Huh? Throw it here. I need it for something. Damn you! There! Now do something! Now I have a scythe! I can't reach it. I can't move! The rest is up to you! Okay. What's wrong? Lies, Jack's scythe lies on the other side of the iron bars. It's hot. I can't touch it directly. Items from your inventory can be used in specific locations by selecting from the menu. Okay, I already knew that. Do the rag. If I grip it with this rag. There it is. Now I have a scythe. Acquire Zack's scythe. Wow, this is heavy. Probably won't be making any clean flashes like that. I'll do what I can. Okay. Oh, I'm slow. Yeah, caught the head. I'm very slow with this thing. Like, very slow. I'm sorry, Zach. You're gonna be in there for a while. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Cut off its head. Okay, let's just... Let's slowly... Slowly... Make our way around. I feel sorry for you, <laughs> You're in a lot of pain. Yeah, I know. Cut off the head. Okay. I have three more. Wow, we are so slow. Yeah, I know, I know. Cut off his head. Cut off his head slowly. Just walk very slowly. Cut off his head. Okay, and then we have one more. We have one more. One more, and then we can set you free. Yeah, cut off the head. Okay, I think we've got it, guys. Did we fix it? Please tell me you fixed it. Yay, we fixed it! It stopped. Is Zach okay? Let's walk slowly over. Slowly. The iron bars are unlocked. Cool, cool. Zach, you okay? I think he's just very mad. Zack? Yeah. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> hey. Yeah, he's mad. What the hell took you so long? A little longer and a drop of my piss could have powered the world for 1,000 fucking years. Well, that's a very descriptive sentence. 
Okay, then. So you're alive. Yes, he's very alive. He's very alive. Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for her, Johnny? Who's Johnny? Thank goodness. I wouldn't know what to do if you died. Stupid. As if I'd die so easy. Incredible. Stop laughing. Gosh, this lady's creepy. Creepy, creepy Kathy. She's creepy. Simply incredible. He survived. I knew it. It's the resilience of murderous monsters that makes them so alluring. Oh, what an exemplary and perfect specimen you are, Zack. To tell the truth, I'd hope to witness the very moment that life leaves your body. Seeing her work so hard has convinced me to be nice this time. You may pass through. What happens if you said no? Besides, punishment for one sins is not a one-time thing. One must be punished for as many sins committed. Isn't that lovely? Mm, yeah, no. No, let's go with no. Okay, well we did it. You sadistic bitch. That stupid ass chuckle of yours pisses me off. If you weren't hiding safely behind that monitor, I'd have sliced you up good. Yay? Do you want your scythe back? Hey, give me that back. Apparently you do. Okay. Yeah, here's your scythe. What the? What the fuck is this? There's some kind of junk all over it. I used it to cut the heads off the dolls. Is it blood? What are you? Some sort of doll-killing psychopath? What the hell were you doing? It seems the mechanism had to do with the doll's gaze, so I made them face away from you. Use my scythe for some weird shit, and I turn into an electric eel. It's just one damn thing after another. Yep. It's half your own fault. Shut it. It's you who needs to be more careful. Let's get going. Why is it our fault? Okay, I'm going to save here and do the next punishment in the next episode. So, save four. And then this is Matt Panda signing out. If you like my content and you want to see more content like this, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Once again, this is Matt Panda signing out. See you later, guys.